Hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We are currently in Marrickville. So I've hit up a few of my friends who used to live in Marrickville or are living in Marrickville to get a list of places that they really like to eat, like here. See, the bottleneck to a lot of these videos is actually my stomach. And as much as I'd love to go to every single place, I just can't. I mean, I'm gonna come to Marrickville like twice just so that I can film more. But if there is like any place that you feel absolutely has to be included and I did not include it, please let me know in the comments. We'll do a part two or a part three or however many parts we need to cover everything. The first place that I really wanna hit up on this list is actually a place that multiple people on multiple occasions have told me I need to check out. So I'm super, super excited to start off this video with this particular place. Let's go. I've been to Kulmak many times in Kirribilli, but I've never actually been to Kulmak in Marrickville. They actually have like a breakfast menu from 7 a.m. and some items aren't actually available past 11. I got a cod roe omelette on top of a bed of rice. And I also got a coffee. I got a soy cab. If I remember correctly, they use sample coffee. It's very, very good. They've got pickled vegetables on the inside. The rice, they do the rice so well. It's just got like each little individual grain of rice cooked perfectly and then that egg on top of it. It's hard to see the cod roe, but you can definitely taste it. The omelette itself cooks perfectly. So the soup has carrots, it's got radish, it's got pumpkin, it has pork spring onions. It's got like a hearty savoriness to it, if that makes sense. The rice is beautiful. Sydney weather is so strange. It was hot this morning and all of a sudden it just started raining pretty hard. But that is the first restaurant ticked off on this list. This place, Kurumak, is actually a little bit further out from some of the other restaurants that I want to hit up. It's like, I'd say a 25 minute walk or a five minute drive. What I had just then was like a hearty breakfast, which I do appreciate when it's raining. But I think one of my favorite things I've had from them is probably the taco rice and also the cold noodles. All right, I am going to do some squats and lunges and burpees, and then we're going to head to our next location for this video. So I'm here at VN Street Food here in Marrickville. I've been here a few times before, and now that I'm filming a Marrickville video, I'm like, I absolutely have to include this place. I've always had a really, really good time. And I've gotten the beetle leaf wrapped around beef. It's served with rice noodles and a lot of raw vegetables. So this is like minced beef mixed with garlic and shallots and then it's wrapped in beetle leaves and then rolled up like little spring rolls before they're grilled. I thought the beetle leaf would be more bitter. It does have a nice peppery taste to it, which when wrapped around that beef, the peppery taste kind of cuts through any oiliness in the, in the beef. This is refreshing. I love it. This all came to $13.50, which I think is super reasonable considering the prices of everything in Sydney right now. The price for a pack of chips I saw at Woolies was $6.50. So I was thinking about YouTube the other day and I realized it's been like almost five years since I started doing this. I personally really love it, but I do want you know, your opinions as to like what you like watching. Do you like watching travel vlogs? Do you wa like watching cooking videos? going out to restaurants and checking new places or a combination of all three like i'd love to hear your thoughts on it and sort of make more videos that not only i like to make but also you like to watch as well so yeah let me know hi sorry do you have a second yes do you have recommendations on places to eat in Marrickville? Yes, so definitely this place called Ban Kuen Bat Wan. Authentic Vietnamese food, super good, very Marrickville. Would you say it's one of the places in Sydney that you must visit? Definitely places <laughs> in Sydney that you must visit. <laughs> 
Why is it one of your favorite places in Marrickville? You'll see later inside a lady were like steaming everything fresh. They put a lot of love in it. <laughs> and they've been here for a, forever. I don't know since when, but it looked like they've been here forever. And as you can see, it's packed. It's open Tuesday to Sunday, so don't come on Monday. It's gonna be a huge disappointment. I just went in to order. I ordered two of these dishes. So this one is the special platter. It has basically everything in it. Obviously the steamed rice roll apparently is fermented rice batter. And it has in it uh, meat as well as wood ear mushroom, meatball, pork bowl, and then also grilled pork as well in it. Ah. And then the soup is what you use to dip this. And then this soup is like not mum. Oh, it's so good. It's so silky smooth. And you've got like that different texture from the wood ear on the inside. Like with the veggies, do you like just eat it all together or do you wrap it? <laughs> By the time I finish this, yeah. it's like quite filling. Okay, so you just so leave I the just veggies on the side. No, I eat the pickles. Oh, okay, okay. Um, good question though. <laughs> so this one is prawns. So I was asking when I was ordering, like what else should I order? Because I've already got like the one that has everything. Yeah. And this was recommended to me. So this is the prawn one. Mmm. They're both amazing. This one seems lighter than that one. This pork roll is still so incredibly juicy. Yeah. And there is definitely a sweetness to it as well. I love cold meat. This is my thing. Like, you know, I love like cured meat. Like mm. with a Caucasian kind of cold meat. It's always thin cut, but this is like thick. Okay, we're just done with our lunch and now Adrian's taking me to dessert. So it's not particularly new but it's definitely one of the newest addition to Merrickville's food scene okay. and it's plant-based pastries and baked goods essentially and oh. usually in the morning the line is so long okay um, but because we're in the on a weekdays in the middle of the day for lunch um, it's okay. Right. Yes. So we've got a creme brulee and we've also got a passion fruit meringue. Oh. Passion fruit meringue. Which one is your favorite? Definitely this. Like, this legit is truly my favorite. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This has no dairy in it at all. Look at the amount of cream on this thing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this crunch is just unbelievable. We, I mean, I am lactose I, intolerant. So. I'm lactose sensitive. But yeah, same. I'm lactose sensitive. I ignore it sometimes. Especially when I'm in Japan, yes. But I'm just so glad that this one, I can eat without worrying. If you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know that it's very free. The passion fruit meringue, which is also very beautiful. They have the lemon one and also passion fruit. You can see the, the passion fruit seeds in it as well. Which one's your favorite? I always have a soft spot for the creme brulee. I just like the crunch. Mm. The crunch and the softness, Ooh. the the different texture that I'm getting in my mouth, it's like a party. I think, yeah, this one, I'm pointing to the We can't show one. you anymore because it's destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite. Look, I would be remiss if I didn't at least mention Marrickville pork roll. I come to this place a lot, mostly in the CBD. They always do a good, pork roll, it always fills me up, always does the job. I love this place. All right, this next restaurant actually only recently opened in Marrickville, I think the beginning of March, and they're by the owners of Donut Papi, and I'm super, super excited to give them a visit. I've got a, an egg and cheese pandasal with longanisa and also pandan bas cheesecake. And they also do the ube soft serve, which I'll get later because otherwise it's just going to completely melt. It's a very, very popular spot. There's lots of people here. But it was relatively easy for me to get a spot. I mean, I'm just one person. But yes, I'm just waiting for everything to arrive and I'm super, super excited. All right, let's give this breakfast sandwich a go. Can you see? This is like an elevated sausage and egg McMuffin, which is one of my favorite items at Macca's. Anyway, let's give this a go. 
So the pandasal is toasted, it's still fluffy on the inside. You can see them baking the pandasal fresh. The longanisa has a really nice like charred exterior and the inside is still like very very juicy and so well spiced. I know we're relatively early in the morning but I really wanted to try one of their desserts as well and we have a pandan bas cheesecake. The green is very very vibrant. It's like a highlighter in my life right now. The flavor of the pandan becomes more and more prominent throughout your bites. All I need is a cup of coffee. I've already had two today, so I should chill out. But one of my favorite things about a Basque cheesecake is actually like the external layer. I have this weird thing where like with bread, my favorite part is the crust. So with like a loaf of bread, I always take like the front and the ends because those are like my favorite, favorite parts. Same with the Basque cheesecake. Something about, something about the crust. It's my favorite. All right, I'm gonna end this video with an ice cream. This is the Ube ice cream. It was so perfectly poured out. No, squeak. You know what I mean. This is really good. <laughs> Ooh, you can definitely taste that Ube flavor. I was speaking to one of the staff there earlier and she was like, this is one of her favorite things. She was like, if she could inhale one every 30 seconds, she would. You know what? I like that it's not too sweet. Any dessert that's not too sweet always has my heart. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. As always, if there are any other places that you reckon I absolutely have to visit, let me know in the comments below and I will try to visit as many of these places as possible. Thank you again for watching till the end. I'll be posting new videos soon. So if you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video very, very shortly. Bye. Oh, Welcome to Marrickville, <laughs> the, the, the plane. <laughs>